welcome everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is precious and in today's video we're going to be learning how to make this cow neck top the bottom part and the sleeves are not included just the upper part of this dress so if this is what you want to see definitely keep on watching now to get started we're going to be making use of our pattern paper and I have my petal paper on fold and this is what we're going to be using to draft out our basic bodies now we're going to draw our baseline I'll be taking my bust point measurement, my under bust, and my half length. I'm going to come down from my shoulder I'm going to come down by 8 inches and that is going to be our chest line We're going to be dividing our shoulder measurement by two. I'm going to include that and I'll add one inch allowance to it. Now from that shoulder measurement we took, we're going to come down to our chest line and that will be our ham hole. So from the baseline to that chest line, I'm going to mark what I have and divide it into two. I have 8 inches and into two becomes 4 inches and from that point, I'm going to make a curve. I'm going to come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. So for the neck of this front piece, we're going to be doing 3 inches by 3 inches. We're not going to be needing this dough, but let's just mark it as part of our basic bodies. Now I'm going to connect my shoulder slope to the upper part of that neckline. So now I'm going to be dividing my bust measurement by 4 and adding 2 inches allowance to it. And we'll be doing that on our bust point. On our under bust, we're going to be dividing our waist measurement by 4. We'll mark it and add 2 inches allowance to it and that will also be on our half length.
from our shoulder we're going to be coming down by seven inches and we're going to be marking that because we're using a slash and spread method for this that seven inches we marked is where we're going to be opening to get our cow neck so for the back i'm just going to mark two inches allowance because we'll be adding zipper to this top and for the neck we're still going to do three inches width then the depth is going to be two inches So we're going to be cutting out our pattern. So that seven inch we came down by from our shoulder line is where we're going to be slashing, but not to the end of our armhole. We're going to leave a little there and this is how we're going to be opening it on our fabric now we're going to use this to cut out our fabric so I'm just going to open the neckline a little as you see me doing and I'll be placing it on my fabric I'm also going to pin it down so what I'm going to do is, when I open it, I want to know how much I want this cow neck to drape. So from that point, you see me measuring to the 7 inch we marked. I'm going to make it 7 inches. So from that point we open to the down part, it's going to be 7 inches. If you want this to drape more, you can open it more. So what I'm do just doing now is to add one inch to my length because when I drafted the pattern, the pattern was not enough to get my actual half length. So I'm just adding one inch to it as seam allowance. And I'm going to be re replicating the pattern paper, what I have on the pattern paper on my fabric because we're going to be cutting exactly this way. So that's what I'm just doing. You're going to mark at it like this. And when it gets to the top, you're just going to make a straight line. Now we're going to cut this out. And this is the back, we'll be cutting it out as well. What I'm doing now is to cut facing for my the neck of my dress so you can use a booba bias for this but i'm going to use the same fabric as facing for this so i'm going to be cutting out facing for the back and also for the front Now I'm going to open this up 
and i'll be placing my facing on top of it so this is how the neck drapes when you use that spread and slash method i'm going to be placing my facing on top of the neck like so i'm going to pin it down and we're going to sew on it we'll be doing the same thing for the back Now this is what I have. This is the front piece. I went ahead to impute my dart and this is what it looks like. I also gave it a good press. And now this is how it's going to drip when we attach it to the other part, the back part of this top. Now I'm going to add the back part of this top, I'll be adding it to my front part and we're going to be joining the shoulders. So I'm going to use one part of the facing for either the front or the back, we'll place it on the shoulders like this and we'll take one part of the facing and turn it to the other side like this. And I'm going to be doing it for the both shoulders and come back to show you what it looks like. Now this is what I have after joining the shoulders together. So now you can add this to your dress or you can make it as a top. All you need to do is make the length longer. You can add sleeves to it or you make it sleeveless. What you just need to do is to fold your armhole if you want it to be sleeveless. Just fold it and you have your top. But I attach this to my dress and... That will be all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.